Tar- Neely and I work with Eric at Trinity Manor. Tony Neely, Candy's husband. I'm Brandon Herrera. I work with Eric at Trinity. I am Nick Reyes. My my work with Eric May. I'm Marcy Valencia and Eddie's neighbor. Okay. You might have to plug it in. I know it plugs out. Right? Uh, I forget it. Okay. Okay. My name is Eric Steele, and I'm going to talk about how the car engine works. The car engine is a technological marvel that not many people understand and use on an everyday basis, but don't really appreciate the technological marvel that it is. Um, The first automobile was invented in 1886 in Germany and has advanced so much to this day that it no longer is considered as an antique as it was then or as bizarre then as it is now. Um, There are over 1 billion cars in use in the world today and not many people understand or comprehend the mechanics behind them and how they get us to go to the places that we need to be. To be fair, the average car has over 3,000 parts, not including the ones in the motor, but no one knows them all. But hopefully learning the parts in the engine and how they work together can help benefit and make many drivers more knowledgeable of their vehicle and they may benefit from it. The gas powered engine consists of at least 12 different parts. The main part is the engine block. This is what contains and encases everything else. It's made out of usually made out of aluminum alloy and it's iron made from iron and it holds and contains all of the internal parts. The other main outside component is the cylinder head and the cylinder head sits on top of the engine which encases all of the internal parts which causes the motor to go and without the cylinder head there would be no force causing the motor to have the combustion and therefore there'd be no movement of any of the parts. So both the engine and the cylinder head are the two main outside components and without them the engine would not work. The next main thing is the cylinders. These sit inside the engine block and they're pretty much just holes that are hollow and they just are there to allow the connecting rods and pistons to move up and down. The connecting rods are what holds the piston, allowing the air to move up and down through the cylinder block. The pistons, they're small, metal, almost like plates. They're round and short. And they sit on top of the connecting rods, pushing the air up and through. And the crankshaft is what holds the connecting rods, which hold the pistons, which go through the cylinder head, allowing it to push the air up and through the engine. Inside the cylinder head are the fuel injectors, the camshaft, the spark plugs, and the intake and exhaust manifold. The fuel injectors are pretty much what the name says, they inject the fuel and they sit inside the cylinder head with the camshaft, turning the rods and pistons as well as the crankshaft. The spark plugs sit inside and they are pretty much what the name says too, they spark, they send a spark which ignites the fuel and air mixture, making the explosions that causes the pistons to move down and up. And the intake and exhaust 
ball valves. It's inside the cylinder head as well. And the intake is what lets air and fuel come in to the cylinders, which pushes the pistons down and up. And then the exhaust is what takes the burned air out of the engine. And last but not least is the timing belt. The timing belt is what connects the crankshaft and the camshaft. And without the timing belt, nothing else would work because with the timing belt, you have it connected to the crankshaft and the camshaft, which moves the connecting rods, the piston. And that's what pretty much makes your motor go. It gives the compression in the motor that makes your car go. Um, the process that the car starts with is called the four um, stroke process. Um, it begins with the intake stroke, which is when the air comes in through the intake valves, it goes down the engine block, down the cylinders, and it pushes the pistons, pushes the pistons down. And that's called the intake stroke. And the compression stroke is when the pistons go down and go back up, pushing the air out through the cylinders and up to the cylinder head. And then after the compression stroke is the power stroke. And the power stroke starts when the spark plugs ignite, causing the spark to make the pistons go down again. And once the pistons go down again, the air and fuel mixture, which is spark because the spark plugs, goes up. The pistons go up and it comes out through the exhaust valves going through the cylinder heads and out in the exhaust. All these small parts play a large role in what makes the engine work and causing it to do what it does to help us get to the places we need. Together, they all play vital roles in helping each other and causing the engine to do what it needs to do. Um, and that is how a car engine works.